Okay, so here we are. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mrs. T. Happy birthday to you. Here you go. Mrs. T's birthday today. Where are we? Let's have a quick change. Hello. There she is. Hello, Mrs. T. Hello, I've got my boomer bear. Boomer bear, giving you kisses. Yes. Mrs. T, how are you feeling, Mrs. T? I'm feeling very, very well. Yes. Yes. Very well. I've just, I'm in the middle of, just a little bit of update of, of us, quickly. Um, I'm obviously um, lit lopsided, um, but I'm contemplating surgery now, as, again, as to which way I go, whether I rebuild this one or whether I chop this one off. So that's the update at the moment. But, and we'll keep you all um, yeah, we'll posted keep you on that one. But as far as me is concerned, I'm feeling great. Yeah, and yeah. we're currently sitting at our static caravan in sunny honey. It's lovely. It's a beautiful day. But... Because it's your birthday. Well, we should explain as well. I'm on. I'm, we're both on a diet at the moment. I'm always on a diet. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Well, no. Obviously, I haven't been on the diet for the last year. It's <laughs> the reason why I've stuck on a thousand stone. But today, because it's my birthday, I'm going to have a glass of, of prosecco. And my favourite, favourite in the whole wide world is T-bone steak. steaks. And we're going to cook two t-bone steaks no frills nothing just good old basic barbecue cooking t-bone steaks on the ninja wood fire yeah no potatoes no salad no nothing just apart from, protein and apart, alcohol apart from, apart from anything else it's a lot to eat yes <laughs> and we want to make sure we eat those two all of it wonderful t-bone steaks so i'm going to hand the camera back over to you mrs t and then we're going to start cooking Okay. So, we're mm -hmm. going to start cooking. Ninja wood fire. Mm -hmm. We've seen it before. Mm -hmm. Thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, and you keep checking on it and lifting the lid up, don't you? You can't do that, yeah, can you? No, not, not on this one. No. Because today we're just going to grill them. Good old food fashioned grilling. Okay. But we're going to heat it up first. Okay. So, here we are. Controls. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, smoke, grill, air fry, roast, bake. Uh, dehydrate and reheat. So today we're going on to the grill. That's all it is. Okay. Grill high. I'm going to put initially, um, put it on for 15 minutes. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to start it. And all it's going to do straight away is just heat up. I think this is really clever because because it decides what it's going to do. So how does it do, how does it know? Like for instance, that you want that rare, medium, well done. Well, you don't. Oh. That's a bit of guessing, but oh. I'm just guessing 15 minutes on there is going to make them pretty nice. I think mm -hmm. we won't need anywhere near 15 minutes because we like them quite succulent. We don't want them cremated. No. But this is trial and error. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time we have cooked mm -hmm. T-bone steaks yeah. on the Ninja. We've done T-bones on... A chimneya. A chimneya. We've done T-bones on the Kadak. Yeah. Um, always been successful, uh -huh. always had great views uh, from people all over the world that yeah. we really like. So we thought today, stick a couple of ninja, uh, stick a couple of T-bones on, oh, listen to the seagulls. I know, they're lovely. You can tell we're near there. the seaside. Yeah. Stick a couple of T-bone steaks onto the ninja wood fire and see how it goes. And to be quite honest with you, I don't think we're going to get much else on that barbecue anyway. No, they're big. We're going big. to have to do a bit of manipulation. Yeah, they're very big. Just to get those. They're huge, uh, look. Yeah. The size yeah. of them. When I order them, I usually order them thumb thick. Yeah. So you can see. Good job I don't order my thumbs. They're not that big. Well, that's why I wouldn't let you go into the butchers. <laughs> so go into the butchers. Thumb thick T-bone steaks, please. So, and uh, later on, not in this video, but another video, I'm going to be doing a rack of baby pork ribs barbecued on here with the smoking and with a bit of barbecue sauce. Okay. So watch out for that video. Mm -hmm. That's going to be really good. But in the meantime, we're heating up here. Mm -hmm. So it looks as if we're nearly halfway through. We're going to put the video now onto pause mm -hmm. and come back when that goes ping because I am desperate to open that bottle of Prosecco. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Okay, it's gone ping. It's telling us to add food. Add food, I love that. Cheers, cheers. Right, cheers, honey. now, um, what, right, don't forget the fat capture. Mm -hmm. goes around the back of the Ninja wood fire mm -hmm. and all your fat drips in there. Just a little tip, we've got a serviette napkin 
pop that in there because that will absorb it at the same time. Yeah, it means you don't have so much washing up to do then. Pop that underneath the back there so that can catch the fat. Add food. We're going to add food. Now, I've also, don't forget, we've seen it before. Look, I've got my barbecue mat on there. Mm -hmm. Just saves the washing up afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I think these two are going to actually almost take up that space. There we go. There's one. Oh my word. And there is two. Like shoes in a box. I have added the food. We're not adding any rubs. We're not adding any smoking. We're no. not adding anything. Mm -hmm. This is just purely and simply barbecuing and grilling. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the time is going as well. And the time is going. So it will be interesting to see how long it does take. Um, as I said, it might not take 15 minutes. It might take only 10 minutes. Does that mean then, as soon as the time has started already, that you don't need the, the lid? No, because we're just on basic grill. If we were doing oven or bake or something like that, we would have to pull the lid down and then it would start. Because we've, we've cooked things before and you've always put the lid down. Yeah, but not... But you don't need to. Yeah, because we've, we've roasted them, haven't we? <gasps> and cooked right, them. Right, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this... Oh, right, okay, so it stays up. I didn't yeah. realise that. So we can just use this as like a normal... Barbecue. Barbecue. We can, I suppose, if we lowered the lid, it would cook them quicker. Mm hmm do we want to open, uh, lower no, the lid? No, no, I want to watch it. Yeah. And that's it. We're not going to watch it for a whole 15 minutes, obviously. Because no. I think I'd get bored and certainly the... Uh... Anyway, I've got valuable drinking time. Uh, yes, yeah. Give me that. Just give me that. Mrs T's having a glass of Prosecco. Just like that. Cheers, Mrs T. Oh, we haven't drunk for weeks. Oh. It'll go straight to my head, won't it? It will, of course it will. But I'm sure there's a few videos we've done over the time <laughs> where uh, you've been a little bit tipsy while we've been barbecuing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think I remember, I can't remember, I think it might have been the toad in the hole one. You were very, very tipsy. Do you remember the time when we practically cremated the, whatever it was we had on the roast, roast beef and roast potatoes. potatoes and, we and we had our friends there we as well. We had our friends there and it like, took about four hours to get it yeah. sorted and we were just drinking all the way through. I don't think I even actually remember the end of that no. video. <laughs> But just look at that, you can see those T-bone steaks oh, sizzling. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh, it does smell good, doesn't it? Mm. And don't forget, these are two hefty old T-bones. Aren't they? So 15 minutes, I don't think it's going to be far off it, mm. in all honesty. We don't like it uber, uber rare. It's interesting, though, because the, the timer's going down, so you know when yeah. you've done half. Yeah. And I mean, sometimes you guess it, don't you? Yeah. So what I might do is just leave that. We said 15 minutes, I might let that stay there for four minutes, then I might turn it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. four minutes yeah. and then you know just keep turning it. Yeah, but that I am so excited and looking forward to this. Just look at those steaks mm. cooking away. It's a big I'll yeah. it. I mean you have got the thickness, look at you can yeah. see how thick they are. Yeah. How they're sizzling on that. Just look at the size of them. Just look at the size of those. That, and that's the fillet bit, isn't it? The fillet steak. Yeah, the and fillet. And then what's that bit? That's the rump steak. So we've got rump steak and fillet. Fillet steak, yeah. Oh. And we get those from our local butcher. Mm. To give you some idea of price, so um, I've got an average size thumb. <laughs> I wonder what you were going to say. <laughs> okay, yes, you've got an average size thumb. Yes? Yeah. Are we happy with that? Yes. Yeah. So I've got an average, my thumb might, my thumb might be thicker than... <laughs> Thicker than some, but I've got a thumb that's, you know, I've never had any complaints about my, my thumb. But anyway, so you can see how thick my thumb is by looking at those t bone steaks. Um, I'll just go into the, into the butchers. You're talking about money. What? Money, you're oh, yes. talking about money. Right, I just go into the butchers. I usually say, can I have a couple of t bone steaks, thumb thick? Um, and then they dish them out, and I think these were just over 30 quid this <gasps> time. How much? Crikey. Yeah, but that's not bad. But it used to be just because, over 20, didn't because, it? Because, yeah, I mean, how years long ago? ago I'm talking 12, 12, 14 years ago when we started to mm -hmm. first buy mm -hmm. T Bones, mm -hmm. they were just over 20, they so were. they haven't gone up in price. But how much would you pay for one of those oh, yeah, well, in a restaurant? Yeah, yeah. 
you wouldn't get that in a restaurant. Well, not unless you're going to a special steak yeah. restaurant. No, and if the chef's particularly got a, a thin, really thick. thin, th thin thumb, <laughs> you won't get a thick steak, will you? <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. <laughs> right, um, we're just going to carry on sizzling away here. I think when, oh, 26 seconds time, I'm going to give them a quick turn. Mrs. T, right. take the video. Um, can you make sure when you turn it that you're going to, you know, try get that bit with the fork, just hold the, okay. the thing down, yep. otherwise absolutely. you... Absolutely, yep. Not that I'm trying to teach you. Well, you are. Well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, six, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. We're going to turn. Turn that over. Oh, lovely. Oh, look at that. Actually, I and mean, I'll be honest with you, mm -hmm. I don't think 15 minutes is going to be long enough. Long enough. No, no, it's not. Yeah, so, um, that's going to be the same as this. Yeah, yeah. Because usually I would, like, I would normally say I like my steak rare, but when you're talking rare with that thick, you, no, no, you need to cook so it properly. Medium rare. We just want to do the colour. Do you remember, do you remember the last time I asked for a rare steak and it was practically pink on the inside? I couldn't eat it no, properly. No, no. Because it's not. so close to the bone, yeah. that's what it is. And I also like to let them rest. Yeah, I like to rest occasionally. Yeah, well. but I like to take them off the barbecue, pop them on a plate, just let them rest just for a couple of minutes, just so you get those juices starting to come out. Yeah, doing this close, look. Yeah, he's not going far. No, he's not going far. So there you go. There we are at the moment with the T-bone steak sizzling away on the grill of the Ninja Wood fire. We're now at 8 minutes 56 seconds. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to you in about 6 minutes. Alright. And we'll have a look see how it's going. No, no, hang on a second. We turned, we, we cropped them at 9, didn't we? We turned them ten, at 9. 10, 10. Is it 10? 10, yeah. So they've been on for 5. We'll yeah. come back to you in 3 minutes and 38 seconds time. Okay. Okay, well, that was God knows how many minutes to us, but to you, we've just paused it and here we are. We've gone past the five minutes. We're, we're too down, busy talking. We're chatting away. So I'm just going to turn those. So they've been on for another mm. five minutes. Mm. So we're just going to turn that. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of minutes on each side. Right. And then just take a look at them. But if you look down here, this is still quite raw mm -hmm. uh, down here. So I think we're going to go into the 20 minutes Maybe, or yeah. even 25 minutes. Right. Well, we are cooking half a cow. Yeah. Now you can see they're starting to cook, and one of the secrets about cooking a good T-bone steak is once it starts to cook nicely, it almost starts to crack. You can see these little cracks that start to appear. See mm -hmm. them? And that's like in the vein of the meat. That's just a good sign that you're getting that heat through to the uh, to the middle of the meat. And well, let's wait until this five minutes is up. Then we'll do a couple of minutes on one side again, a couple of minutes on another, mm -hmm. and then we'll just go from there. Okay. How are we getting on? Right, we're just about to flip. So we're going to flip these now. So they've had 15 minutes or not? No, they've had five minutes on each side. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then they had two minutes on one, another extra two minutes on another side. Yeah. So now we're going to go another two minutes yeah, on this side. Though, yeah. yeah. And I think after this two minutes, we're going to reset it right. and give them another ten minutes, another five minutes on each side, okay. and we'll be there. Now, the thing with a ninja wood fire is, if I'd closed the lid, it would have cooked a lot quicker. Right. But to me, when you're cooking a T-bone steak mm. and you're sitting and cooking it outside, you want to sit there and see it cook. You want to look at it cooking. Mm -hmm. You want to smell it. You want to just see everything mm -hmm. about the experience mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of cooking a tea bone steak. Mm -hmm. So we didn't do that. We didn't use it as an oven grill. We're just doing it the old fashioned grill a tea bone steak way. Yum, yum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got a minute left on this side. Then we're going to reset mm -hmm. and go for another 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then what we'll do is we'll come back when we've done five minutes on another side. All right, then. And then we'll do the last five minutes. Okay. We'll take the steaks off. Yeah. Wrap them. Just let them relax for a little bit. Uh -huh, okay. And then we're going to slice into them and eat them. Yummy. So we'll be back with you soon. 
So we've done five minutes again on that side. We're going to do the last turn, I think. And then we should be okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is... You said high flip. Yep. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. We just shut the lid down, bring it up. There you go. So there we go. We've just told me to do that last five minutes. And I think when we've done that five minutes mm -hmm. on this side, mm -hmm. take them off, pop them in on this plate, mm -hmm. cover them in foil. I noticed you washed them. I've washed the plate, mm -hmm. washed the utensils, got rid of the raw blood and mm -hmm. everything else, mm -hmm. cover them with a bit of tin foil, oh. let it relax. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Then you get some lovely juices coming out of that that you can mop up your meat there. Well. I'm almost tempted to lick that rather than wash that mat. When that mat dries out, I'm almost tempted to lick it rather than wash it. Lucky mat. <laughs> Anyone around here called Matt? <laughs> well, there is, sorry. I'll just say everybody will come running. <laughs> right. Will I? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> right. So, um, four minutes left and we'll come back to you. And then we'll wrap the mm. steak. Mm -mm. Here we go. Yes. So, four, three, two, one. Done. done. Okay. Let's turn that off. Okay. I think we're there. Do you reckon? Did you not have to stick a knife in it? I'm or? not going to go for that. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, well, to be fair, I mean, I don't mind it rare yeah. anyway, but I don't mind it. I don't want it that rare. So there you go. Look okay. at those two steaks. We're going to pop those onto this plate. Gosh, look at the smoke. But that's just your normal barbecue. We're mm -hmm. going to pop them on there. It's spat everywhere. All right. Oh. And I'm just going to cover them in foil. Oh, that don't want to stay there, does it? Right. Just cover them in foil. Mm -hmm. Just for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two or three minutes, more than a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. We'll leave them there That's just fine. for two or three minutes. Yep. Just to relax. Mm -hmm. And I said, what happens then is the meat that's gone really, oh, I'm being cooked, will now just start to chill out. I know it's not alive. <laughs> just as well. You, you know, <laughs> It'd be pretty hot by right. now, wouldn't it? <laughs> and it will just, and, and it just makes it a little bit more tenderer. Tenderer? That's a word. It's a word now. Yeah, okay. Tin tenter and tenderer. Get, tin, get tenderer with yeah. tin tenter. I must admit, with the, with the thing open, it's pat, put fat spats everywhere. It has. Whether or not we should have possibly had the thing shut. And then no, that... if you had it shut, it wouldn't have cooked it like this. Okay. I wanted the experience. I wanted to watch yeah. my T-bone steaks cooking. So I okay. wanted to smell. So you wanted to watch and smell. So you wanted to wash up as well, didn't I you? I usually do. Well, you don't. You don't wash up. Well, I'll put it in the dishwasher then. We don't have a dishwasher in the caravan. Mm, mm. Nice but... nudge, wink, wink. Anyway, oh. um, look, it's only a damp cloth. Okay, all right. Then I'll it's let you not on. like having to clear up a chippy after a big session on a Friday night. Have you ever had to clear up a chippy on a big session on a Friday night? No. Oh, there you go then. But I can imagine it would be hell. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> we digress. Yes, we do. Um, leave that there. Leave that there. Mm -hmm. Another couple of minutes, mm -hmm. we'll come back to you. And I'll let Mrs. T mm -hmm. cut into her T-bone steak. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't wait, can't wait. I think we're ready. I think we right, might be. Right, okay. Let me... Meanwhile, meanwhile, Boomer is still fast asleep. Though. Fast asleep, under the day. He started dreaming just now, he? Didn't did, he? didn't he? <laughs> right, let's have a look at these steaks. Look at those steaks. Mm, and the juices are all flying into the bottom of the pan. Uh, the bottom of the pan. Oh, okay, there's one for you, Mrs. T. Right. There's one for me, Mrs. T. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a bit of a oh a drizzly thing. Drizzly bit. Of oh, I love juices. the drizzly bits. Oh yeah. God, I love drizzle. <laughs> oh my God, it's still worse than ever. Right, there's your fork. Do I get a knife too? There's your knife. Okay, give me your camera. Mhm. Mm and now I'll let you. <laughs> Slice in. Oh, it tastes. It smells even better steak. than like a Sunday roast. Oh, oh, oh look at that Philip steak bit. Oh, oh it's perfect. It's over a little bit over overcooked. overcooked. Well, it's not overcooked. It's no, just not rare. But it should that. be really succulent and juicy. Is that nice? Mm, oh, mm. 
I'm sure oh. there's people out there that would like it rarer. Oh, okay. Is there such a word as rarer? Mm, okay. Yeah, is that nice? Mm. I'm going to try a bit at the end there with some... Mm. I shouldn't really be eating the fat bit, should I? Not really, but at the end of the day, you know... It's only once in like every few months, isn't it? Oh, crap. Oh. oh, my God, the fat bit. Oh, my God. So, result. Mm -hmm. Result? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Would you recommend the Ninja Wood Fire and mm -hmm. a T bone steak? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Look Are you going to sort of like come back to us, come back in the room? Uh -huh. no. Yeah? No? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, everybody, um, I think it's fair to say that that was a success. Mm -hmm. Mrs. T's T bone on her birthday is oh. uh, going down a tree. Please, please, please give us a thumbs up if you have enjoyed that. Uh, interested? want to cook a t-bone on an ninja wood fire um, please hit the red button and subscribe um, meanwhile um, <laughs> mrs t is nom nom nomming in the background um, mrs t what have you got to say um, yeah love you love you time. goodbye uh thank you everybody for watching uh stay safe look um, after yourselves um, see you all again soon um, bye for now um,